All right, well, it is 625, and let's take a look at your national headlines. The Democratic National Convention was a night of music, celebrity, and political star power yesterday. ABC's Jacqueline Lee shows us how those became the defining features of the convention's third night. Day three of the Democratic National Convention was packed with star power. Let's go! John Legend, Stevie Wonder, and Oprah Winfrey lighting up the United Center. Former President Bill Clinton thanking Joe Biden for his service and willingness to give up political power while slamming Trump over his age and temperament. Oprah Winfrey also welcomed by a thunderous applause, taking aim at Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance's viral interview on women without children. When a house is on fire, we don't ask about the homeowner's race or religion. We just try to do the best we can to save them. And if the place, place happens to belong to a childless cat lady, we try to get that cat out too. But for Democrats, the real star of the night was vice presidential nominee Tim Walls, who received a call from Kamala Harris ahead of his speech. Walls embracing his roles as a public school teacher, Midwestern neighbor, and his most important role, dad. It took Gwen and I years but we had access to fertility treatments. And when our daughter was born, we named her Hope. Hope, Gus, and Gwen, you are my entire world, and I love you. One of the most touching moments of the night, Walls' son Gus, who has a nonverbal learning disorder, crying while appearing to say, that's my dad. Walls also ripping into former President Trump, warning Harris's opponents are a threat to democracy. It's an agenda that serves nobody except the richest and the most extreme amongst us. And it's an agenda that does nothing for our neighbors in need. Is it weird? Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's also wrong. Walls wrapped up his speech comparing the election to a football game, saying we're in the fourth quarter and Kamala Harris is ready to win and serve. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Chicago. Tonight, Vice President Harris is headlining the convention on its final day, taking the stage for her highly anticipated acceptance speech.